Greetings Metal Community, it's uh, Roger back with another collection update. Uh, this will be just a haul from um, Duplicate Records. It's uh, some bits that I picked up on another sale that he had yeah, early in May. Uh, I also picked up, uh, this is uh, one that I ordered directly from the band. This is Expus uh, with uh, Sepulchrum uh, Christi. <coughs> Great uh, Occult death metal, I would call them. Um, very cool, cool stuff. I think it's the third album, I'm not quite sure. I don't remember what country these guys are from. I was tempting to say Italy. Um, that might be right, but um, yeah. I will link it up below so you can go check it out. So as I said, uh, this is you know part of a um, some bits and pieces that are pre-ordered and also a you know a small haul from a sale. Picked up Jevel Vetterhimner on this uh, kind of reissued, uh, boring diggy uh, diggy thingy. I don't know what you call this, but uh, you know it's yeah. But it's a cool album to have, and it was dirt cheap. Also picked up uh, Eljudner, this is a Norwegian band, uh, I don't know if they're active anymore, they released two uh, singles or EPs uh, in 2005 and this is the 2008, yeah I call it single, it's a two, two track. Um, yeah, style wise it's kind of um, black metal with folk uh, elements in them or Kind of that folky feeling but not like overdone it it's just um, they are very present but it's still pretty you know pretty raw black metal and but um, yeah pretty good stuff if you haven't checked out Illudner fur, uh, fur before Blue Dog Quad is the title of it I will link it up below then we have Impure from uh, US this is more evil death metal or black and death metal. Could say Arch Goat, maybe. They released an album in 19 that was pretty good. Also picked up this. This was not on sale, but this was a pre order. The Sabbath uh, box set. Um, just had to have this. I love these two albums and also the live recordings. This here are really cool. Uh, I'm not gonna unpack it uh, because you know uh, Mr. Boulder has shown it, and uh, John over at Rock and Metal Plus has shown it, and uh, Darcy has shown it. So uh, if you want to, if you haven't seen those videos, you can go and check it out. They have uh, kind of shown everything that's in this box. Uh, pretty good box uh, set. Um, very happy to have it. Uh, as I said, I love the two albums. Uh, I do have them on. An original but uh, you know it's nice to have some uh, you know backup to play I show this in the uh, Dave's uh, competition uh, video so void ceremony with um, yeah threads of annoying uh, kind of uh, yeah US band I think um, out on uh, 20 bucks bin kind of I was saying technical or slightly technical, but you know, it's more progressive, uh, death metal. Um, it's very kind of challenging listen. You have to listen to it several times, you know, but it's, it's a grower. Uh, it will be interesting to see how high it will be on the uh, list this year. It, it, this might get up really high, but um, I need to spin it more uh, black vinyl. Of course, but yeah, it's it's kind of um, a little bit challenging, but progressive death metal is something that I normally like if they're it's done right. They have kind of cleaned up their sound a little bit from the previous album, so um, it's, it's more clearer. I haven't listened to this much uh, Command, but I've seen a lot of good things said about it, so I'm um, looking forward to spin it. Also picked up the new Immortal, and yeah, cool cover, uh, 
album wise uh, I'm like it's a good album it's not as good as the previous one in my opinion especially the two first songs here um, War Against All and uh, Thunders of Darkness uh, is uh, especially the vocals are very strained or they're not good, they don't fit, uh, his voice don't fit this faster pace and especially when he tries to sing after the riffs it just gets like a very staccato and, and um, it doesn't sound really good in my ears. Uh, I do really like, you know, No Sun, uh, Immortal, Blasted My Throne, it's great, great songs. Uh, when he goes more into the epic stuff, uh, I feel that fits his song. Or singing better, it's better riffing, it's better in more interesting songs. The faster songs are a little bit kind of... I feel I've heard them before in a way. Um, I'm not saying that he's kind of uh, repeating himself, but uh, uh, it's kind of a formula that's very well known. Uh, the live or the instrumental track, um, uh, Nordlandir, uh, is pretty good, but it's too long. He could have kind of cut that in half and uh, that would be very good but uh, it's a little bit too long in my opinion but uh, overall it's a very good album but uh, as I said the vocal performance on this is not very good um, especially on the faster uh, tracks where he kind of spits out the words uh, it, it sounds a little bit weak when he kind of um, like uh, War, Dog, War God and, and Return to Cold, when he kind of more sings uh, a different path than the, the riffs, uh, it sounds way better. I will also say that um, some of the drums, I mean the drum sound could have been a little bit better, uh, especially the cymbals are a little bit buried in the mix here uh, as well, but, uh, but you know, uh, it's immortal so you kind of have high expectation for it, especially after the last album. Uh, so it's it's a step down, but still a, a great album or very good album. I won't say it's a great album, but uh, I do enjoy it. Um, and if he had chosen kind of a different vocal pattern on the first two songs, uh, they might as well. Uh, I don't dislike them at all. It's just uh, the vocals annoy me a little bit on it. Um, but you know the epic songs here are fantastic, they are top notch, so uh, it's kind of a very divided album for me. Um, overall I think this side B is much better than side A, um, but uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on it, just like sh short and sweet, but uh, yeah, I will of course, you know, it's an album that I've played this like seven, eight times, so I'm not hating it at all. It's just kind of slightly disappointing. I kind of want to like it more than I do, but um, yeah. Then on to another very well-known band. Uh, you know, Vomitory did show this as well in Dave's um, sub video or s subscribers. All heads are gonna roll. Fantastic album by uh, Vomitory. Uh, I really think this is a great comeback. Um, I don't know where I would put it in a kind of a ranking video, but uh, uh, I really like it. I played this a lot as well, and, and this is just um, kind of an instant love. But you know, they don't, they haven't changed up a lot. They are a little bit lighter, I think, in the, in the kind of the riff and, and the vocals, but uh, uh, that doesn't hurt the band at all. It's just a, a great, great album if you haven't checked out vomitory before you know you definitely should great great uh, band then we are going into some sales stuff that i picked up uh, this is advent sorrow with um kali yuga crown this is uh of the uh, depressive uh, black metal and uh, normally a style that i really don't pay much attention to because um, often the vocals are very I mean they are too uh, kind of too much in a way um, it's a poster as well but I'm not gonna unfold it uh, the reason why I bought this was um, they had a, I think it's Pestilence Showcom that's a killer track 
and, and they are balancing for me uh, with, with their kind of um, this extremely uh, kind of painful sorrow vocals are are sometimes a little bit too much to me but this album is is uh, an album that I really like and uh, I'm happy to have it in my collection and it was pretty cheap as well so um, I don't think I will pick up anything more from this band because this album's kind of the only one that I have heard that I like and um, also this type of yeah, depressive black metal is not a style that I think is uh, very good. And it's often to do with the vocals being too kind of intense or uh, just a little bit over the top <laughs> for me when it comes to um, just the combination of the, of the riffs and, and the vocals. Also picked up uh, Gate Creeper, Sonoran. Um, Deprivation. Uh, this originally came out in 2016. I do have it on CD, but uh, I'm always happy to pick up vinyl. This is on a colored version. I'm not a big fan of that, but uh, yeah. Clear, clear vinyl is not a thing that I do appreciate much, but uh, whatever. As long as it sounds good. Uh, yeah, Gate Creeper, great death metal band. I'm sure most of you know the, this band, and yeah, just cool to have this on vinyl. Another album that I kind of have been on offense, not because it's not good, but um, I didn't want to buy it on vinyl because it was a little bit too expensive. It's Horna, and the title of this album. Uh, Kuleman Kirio or something like that, don't know, uh, Finnish of course, I think most of the black metal fans know about Torna, it's uh, very, yeah, raw black metal from Finland, this is actually a very good album, um, double vinyl, pretty long as well, um, but it's cool to have it. I haven't played this a lot, but uh, I listened to it a couple of times on digital, so I, I knew I, I wanted it, but I was kind of wait or planning on buying on CD actually, but uh, when Duplicate Records had it on sale, I was, you know, more than happy to pick it up on vinyl. Very cool book, thick and cool booklet. So uh, yeah. Another one that I wasn't going to pick up on vinyl because of the price uh, is the best album, in my opinion, by Esoctrillium. I'm not going to pronounce that title because uh, yeah, Death Requiem for this Serpent Telepath. I don't know what Deet is for now, but um, yeah, really cool. Artwork. I do have this on a kind of a what is called A3. It's big diggy books or biggie pack stuff. This is the repress of the vinyl. It came out so um, yeah, it was uh, still was a pretty expensive one, but uh, this is a great. Uh, black metal album they do have some death doom in it as well you know um, but also it's, it kind of varies from death doom to bone chilling yeah, you know a uh, black metal so uh, really good album by them if you're going to check out the Sectrillium this is the album to check out because in my opinion this is their uh, their best work or his best work it's a one-man project from France I do believe but yeah, really cool cover and cool color schemes as well, so on. Uh, then I picked up another Jevel. Uh, the Sata of Monog, not uh, out on Aftermath Records. I think this is the repress on some colored variants. 
this was not half bad. You know, this was kind of fitting the cover, grey and I don't know what to call this. But uh, yeah, really, really, uh, it's really cool when they kind of fit the color very well. Um, then the colors, color vinyl can be cool, but uh, overall, black vinyl is better. Uh, not their best album, but uh, I'm kind of slowly picking up all the jewel material. The last two albums, especially, has been absolute killer. I don't remember when this originally came out, but um, doesn't matter. And if you haven't heard Jevel, um, go and check them out, they are pretty damn good. One of the, yeah, top, top acts in Norway right now. And I picked up an uh, older release, this is Necrovation from Sweden. With uh, Breathe Darkness Blood. This is a really cool, uh, again, evil death metal. Um, I would again, you know, could put them in Archgoat and, and Nominon bands like that, you know, Impure, like I showed earlier on the, on the single. Really good, really variated within the songs when, when it comes to riff. Uh, there's a lot of riff changes in the songs, which I think is cool. It's kind of, I wouldn't say catchy, but you know, it's, it's head banging stuff, um, a lot of the riffs, and uh, really, really good um, death metal from Sweden. This came out on uh, Blood Harvest, and you know when uh, you see that on an album, it's uh, most likely very good. So uh, check out the vinyl. This has this classic old center label decoration there. So uh, yeah, if I haven't heard this, I think this came out uh, about ten years ago or something. I'm not um, totally sure, but uh, I do have a CD version of it. But yeah, decoration, killer stuff. Also picked up this... Um, I don't know if it's the first time this is released on vinyl. This is non-Servian with the Rotting Christ. Uh, one of the earlier releases by this uh, quite legendary Greek uh, black metal band uh, don't remember if it was yeah nice looking black vinyl with the uh, on that side yeah this is a pretty good album I mean it's, it's I mean Thy Mighty Contract is still my favorite album by them and Tiagonia was a killer album uh, as well but uh, yeah this is kind of uh, from the heydays of Rotten Christ back in the day so um, really cool to finally have it on vinyl I only have it on kind of a, a uh, not a compilation CD but a, like a two, two for one CD so that's much more fun to have it on vinyl and then I picked up uh, another one that I wasn't sure I would pick up on vinyl just because I have uh, several CD versions of it. But uh, Crypt of Ker Kerberos, Kerberos from Sweden, uh, Worlds of Myth, pretty legendary, yeah, death doom, uh, doomy death metal, a little bit black and that sometimes. Um, yeah, I should have pulled out the CD because this is a different cover than I have on the CD and this is a better cover, so um, cool to have it. Uh, you know, keyboards, um, they started up, off like a really like Death Doom band, but it's kind of... I don't know if I should call pro progressive, more progressive stuff on this, but um, um, I do like the demos better, uh, but they are absolutely fantastic so um, if you haven't heard the uh, Crypt of Kerberos you should um, in my opinion this is not their best release but um, it's still a, a good um, good album 
think Ben Brain Smasher showed it not long ago as well. And the uh, last one I picked up um, was um, this was not on sale, but um, the only Merciless album I didn't have. This is the French Merciless uh, Object Offerings. Uh, this originally came out in '91. So I never owned own this at all on, on any format. So um, very cool to have it. It's a thick cardboard um, inlay there. With this was released on Osmosis Records uh, last year or something. No, this year actually. So um, very cool to have it. A great, great French death metal. Uh, kind of thrashy in the early days, but. Uh, yeah, if, uh, if you haven't heard Merciless, they are killer. Yeah, that was the uh, haul from uh, Duplicate Records this time. So um, I still wait on stuff from them, but uh, that's pre-order stuff. So, But um, yeah, if you have a chance, go and check out Duplicate Records. I don't know how the shipping is from Norway to other countries. or I know it's pretty high, but compared to other countries, I don't know. Uh, but he does a lot of, you know, it's more like an underground label. Uh, he has, you know, his own releases as well. So, um, and he has always, if you have like subscribed to his newsletter, you will get a uh, you know, notification when he has sales. And when he has sales, you get a really good deals. Uh, I think it was 20% off. Uh, almost, yeah, two thirds of this was kind of 20% off and that's killer deals. Um, Thanks so much for watching, uh, so links will be below and uh, you can go and check out everything. Uh, thanks as always for watching the shorts.